All right, here comes another one of those grandpa's going to teach you how to use the internet videos. I'm going to teach you how to use search. So you probably heard of this thing I found the other day, the Google, and it's amazing. It allows you to find all sorts of stuff. I bet that you've probably used the Google before, but there are some aspects of how you search online that may be uh, new to you, and I have some suggestions. I'll keep this quick because you probably already think you know how to do this, but just let me point out a few things. So let's try to find out how to do something. So as a computer scientist or engineer, a lot of times what you're going to be doing online is trying to figure out how to get something to work. How do I write a particular piece of code? Although don't do that if the code is part of an assignment and you might be cheating, please. How do I install a particular piece of software? Why did this um, piece of software give me this error message? And let me reassure you, the internet is full of answers to questions like that. It's amazing. So when you try to do something and you get an error message from some piece of software, and you come and you ask me for help, or you ask pretty much anyone for help, one of the first things we're going to ask you is, did you look it up? Because a lot of times, if you take the error message and you cut and paste it and you put it right into Google, you'll get help online without you know, any need to talk to anybody quickly at any hour of the day. Because you know, the likelihood that someone else has had that problem is pretty high, and a lot of times if you poke around a little bit, you'll find a solution. So let's look at how to do this for a particularly simple task. So the VirtualBox appliance that we gave you, unfortunately, does not have Telnet installed. And Telnet is a pretty interesting and important tool. So let's try to figure out how to install Telnet. Okay, so I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to pick, uh, I'm going to do install Telnet. Okay, now here's one first. Uh, here's one thing that's pretty important to figure out, right? So let's look at the results for this um, for this query. How to install Telnet client on Windows 7 or Windows Vista? So right away. I can tell that I'm on the wrong track because I'm not installing Telnet for Windows 7 or Windows Vista. So I could stop here and I could start scrolling down. I could try to figure this out. How to use the Telnet client in Windows. But, but this up here, is, as well as the auto completions, Google is already giving me these hints that I'm not quite, you know, it's search algorithms are just sort of steering me away from my, what I want. I want to install Telnet in the VirtualBox appliance that we gave you, and that is not running Windows. What is it running? So it's running Ubuntu. It's actually running something called Lubuntu, but it, Lubuntu is a variant of Ubuntu. And so let's see here. So what should I do? Well, rather than read these results, I should probably type Ubuntu. Ah, okay. So now I'm getting now. Now again, the auto completions here are really important to look at because a lot of times what they're doing is they're telling you here's some other information that a lot of other people whoop, a lot of other people uh, find helpful when they issue this particular query. So what are these numbers over here? Well, these are versions of Ubuntu. And the instructions may be different for different versions. Now, if I want, I could poke around. I could try the instructions for the wrong version. But it would be probably better for me to find the version number um, and use that as p uh, the part of the information. So I could Google how to find the version number Ubuntu, whatever. Uh, but in this case, I know that the version number, I think, is 1604. Um, OK, so here we go. How can the Telnet service on Ubuntu uh, server be enabled? Uh, interesting, OK. Um, Ah, now, so, so now I'm, I'm getting to some places where I need to think a little bit more carefully because the, the top hit here is not what I want to do, it turns out. So this is something that's, that's pretty important to realize. Um, you know, because when you're asked, particularly when you're asking how to do things online, there are these little pieces of missing information that, that can make all the difference. So let's look at this result. How, do, how can the Telnet service on Ubuntu 14.04 LTS be enabled? Well, the first thing that's weird is that this is the wrong version, okay? So that might tick me off immediately that this is not a good link to click on. But let's say I look at it anyway. Okay, I'm, and I'm down here. Now, now, when you start Googling around, particularly when you start asking for help with computers, one of the things you want to be really aware of when you search and when you evaluate the results is reputation of the website. And the reputation of the website is, is, is sort of, that's your sense of the, the site's reputation, not Google's. So this is a site called Ask Ubuntu, um, and it's not a bad site. I have found answers to questions about Ubuntu here before, so it's not a bad place to look. As you start to build up more domain knowledge, you'll find sites that you really like, 
uh, that you feel like the answers are good. And then you'll find certain sites where you're like, oh, I tried that before and it didn't work very well. So um, in this case, this is a site that I kind of believe. Um, okay, so this is interesting. So what's, what, what is the result saying? It says, uh, Telnet is insecure, um, you know, use the secure shell. And then it says to install the Telnet server. So here's the important missing piece of information. This is one of those places where search can kind of go wrong and you want to be aware and sort of mentally agile as you're doing search. Because one of the things I hope you're realizing is that search is a highly iterative process. When you know computer scientists or computer engineers search for the answers to problems, you, it, you know, it's not just search and then process the results. It's kind of search, look at the results, repeat the search, modify the search, look at the results again, keep doing that until I feel like I've got a good set of results and only then do I start looking at them. So in this case, if I was doing this, the first thing I'd realize is, huh, I don't want to install the Telnet server. I actually want to install the Telnet client. So there's a couple of ways to, to get this to work. Uh, one thing I could do is just type client. Um, and now it's weird, I'm still getting this Telnet service uh, installed, um, but now the next thing is uh, something about how to install and use Telnet. Um, this is still the Telnet service, this is so interesting. Uh, a lot of these are, are asking for the service. So instead of doing client, let's uh, remove. So remember on Google, if I do minus service, that'll eliminate service from the results. So it's, it's removing the service results. Ah, here we go. Okay, so now what I have here is how to install Telnet on Ubuntu 16.04. That's the version I have. Um, and these instructions are completely and exactly correct. This is exactly the right thing to do. So what did we just learn? Well, I hope what I've convinced you is that search is a highly iterative process. And as you're searching, you know, searching is, is like a fairly mentally engaged activity. It's not as easy as you might think. Adjust the search terms, look at the auto completions and see kind of what extra pieces of information they might be helping you with. Um, use the features of Google to exclude terms from the results, to filter the results, um, but repeat the process. Look at the reputation of websites. So this reputation I've never been, this site I've never been to before, uh, so I'm not exactly sure about, but particularly when you start typing commands into your uh, terminal, think about where those commands have, have come from. Um, and in general, sort of think of search as this engaged, active, iterative process rather than like this one-shot thing. If you didn't find what you searched for, adjust the search terms until you do.